NXL World Cup, the Champions Cup, brought to you by Bunker Kings. We are here in Kissimmee, Florida, and I'm Matty Marshall alongside Rich Telford. And I can't, this is the tournament we all wait for <laughs> all year long. It's going to be an amazing battle. We already saw a big upset as the Rookie Pro Squad, the Lucky 15's first event here at the big show, and they take down the Legends Legion. Next up, though, it's going to be Infamous and Iron Man, a classic OG paintball battle here. And then also Thunder, what a cool story they've had this year against DMG who are fighting for their pro lives this at this event. So, yeah, it's already gotten really interesting here, Rich. What do you think about this infamous Ironman match? Obviously, the Ironman have uh, had that heroic performance uh, when they had in Sacramento, and then they had a real tough one at the last one in Chicago. You think they have what it takes right now to take down Infamous, or you think it's going to be Infamous' day? I think Infamous has a deeper roster, but I think it's going to come down more to who plays the field correctly and who doesn't feel, play the field correctly. I think you know, Infamous has more players that are better, but Ironman has enough players to go out there and match those guys, but it comes down just to who can execute on this field. Well, on the breakout here and pushing the issue quickly is Thomas Taylor. Thomas Taylor's that. hand is shredded. He dislocated both... His middle and uh, his middle finger, and I believe his pinky, and he still gets the oh. star and some kills. Oh, they throw a body wave. Was that a three on three? Who was it? Was that penalty on Thomas or? Thomas looked like he went through clean. I saw it looked like he went through clean to me too. Well, it doesn't really matter because Infamous has done enough. So nice job by Thomas to get it started. They did lose, I believe, patient, the only body to drop other than Thomas, yeah, patient Thomas. Uh, because Harrison Fry was able to get it done on the D side. Cali Rudolph still alive out there as well too, and. Trying to see who that third body is. That actually might be patient. No, it's uh, Hall. Ryan, Ryan Hall. Hall. Yeah, it's a great job by Ryan. Another guy that, I mean, Ryan got a little paintball famous by playing the wall. It's like Nick the Wall, Laval. Laval, and then uh, Ryan the Wall Hall. So those are kind of the two guys that are one of the two of the guys that were standouts when we had the wall at every event. You don't think it's just because it rhymed? It is interesting that it, they both rhymed, but they both played that spot really well though i have to you know say that ryan hall i mean nick laval is like six two six three and ryan hall is not so He's the not. fact that he was still that good at playing the wall at a little bit more of a smaller size than and he's not that small but you know who i'm excited to see play at the middle who's not very tall who ryan holiday you mean dan holiday sorry dan holiday yes dan holiday mm -hmm. could be uh just damage in general I, walk, I saw him walking a little bit i was like ooh, i'd like to i'm looking forward to see what he comes up with yeah, not going to see damage until a little bit later, but right now jumping into this first point here, Seattle Thunder and DMG, DMG in the purple on the blue side and Thunder in the green on the red side. Looks like solid five on five breakout, Matt, although one of the Seattle players looks like they got bounced in the back center, but they're okay. DMG in a must win every point, every game, every match situation, Matty. Yeah, they have to put, they have to put wins up, man. And to stay a pro team, DMG has to put wins up. They are going to be losing a body here. And it's uh, Jordan Boyum taking the walk. Yeah, he's just playing in that wing a little bit too high, Matty. Just got caught over the top trying to probe a little bit too much. You've got to be job-oriented there, um, but on top of doing your job, you want to probe as much as you can, but you got to do your job first. That's stay alive and shoot your gap. Oh, Gerber gets shot out. DMG concedes. Good concession there. A lot of, time, a lot of times they burn a lot of clock there, but good concession there on DMG. Dropping that first point to Seattle Thunder. Yeah, I mean, they're going to need to run everything as perfectly as they can, right? When to concede, obviously they need to put some points on the board and win some games, but everything's need to go needs to go their way. There's during there on your screen, and now we're going to get in this one. We'll see if the Ironman can wake up a little bit here, as it was all infamous in that first point. It's just a, a sea of infamous bodies just flooding down the field. Very aggressive. Well, and start what's for interesting infamous. is we were in San Diego with Dynasty, I mean, sorry, with Ironman when they were practicing, and they were probably the most aggressive out of the three or four teams that were practicing. And in that field, on in that point, Infamous was in the wall, going through their site, in the snake, just much, much more aggressive than the Ironman. So I'm surprised that Ironman came out with that kind of passive posture well, instead of and, aggressive. And Rich, the Ironman also got to that second place finish by just playing Heads up, really, forward, really forward, aggressive, yeah. aggressive paintball. And they come out with an aggressive breakout here, going to the wall. Looks like Cody Mikowski getting eliminated first for Infamous. Five on four advantage as Ironman lose their first attacker on the snake side. Man, you cannot afford to die over here on the snake side. You just, that guy's got to stay alive the whole game. And see how Infamous, again, playing way back off that cut, Matty? They know exactly how to play these, the field. They know exactly where the cuts are. Callie Rudolph. So he just mowed that shot cross field. No gunfighting necessary, right? Like, hey, I know they want to get there. If I just shoot that gap, let's see if they're dumb enough to run through it. Oh, oh there they are. Nikolai getting eliminated over there on the... Dorito side for the Ironman. So the Ironman down to just two players left alive. The small Dorito and the juice box. Looks like Al Fernandez in the juice box. 
Infamous now in the 50 on the Dorito side. Callie Rudolph switching from snake side, uh, Dorito side over to the snake side. Well, jo Jonah Jamrose is all the way oh, Jonah, yeah. onto the Ironman side of the field. He's as far down into the snake as somebody could possibly be without, but while still being in the snake. He gets the crossfield kill. Yeah, gets Al one. Al, get, Fernand get second. Al Fernandez is still at this back box and in a really tough spot. He's got his gun towards the D side, and then he's going to get... Uh, dinked out of there, not much that Al could do in that position. And then we're going to see another concession here as Ironman go down to, to Infamous. And there have, they were cookies here this weekend as well. There were cookies here this weekend. You didn't hear that from me, but I did see Tupperware's full of cookies. Sweet. I mean, I like cookies as, next, as much as the next human. I didn't sure. I, I know you were fasting, working out a lot, so I just didn't. I wasn't sure. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> if beer is called fasting, then yes, I am fasting. Not been fasting. I, it's the opposite. I've been feasting. <laughs> feasting, not fasting. So we're in the pits right now with Thunder and Infamous, and you see Infamous coming off. There's a big old smile from Jonah Jamrose, knowing he just had a really nice point. Yeah, good job, Jonah, getting that snake going all the way down, staying alive, getting those last two kills. Now see if you can get your dad to bring some cookies over. And... Uh, We'll talk about you even more. Really deep roster for Infamous, but they are a little banged up, so he's going to need it. I, I was just, I, when, after I said that, that Infamous has more, you know, players at a higher caliber, I'm like, but how many of those guys are healthy? Not all of them, that's for sure. <laughs> They've all been injured at some point this yeah. year, it seems like. So, uh, the break of this next one. DMG with five alive. DMG like, doubling up that back center with Gerber and Boyum. Trying to shoot a bot end. See any? You see any players walk off with Thunder here? I early? did. I think it's five and five, Matty. I'm blocked out for about half the field. It's so weird that they're doubling up that little wedge in the middle of the field. I didn't see that in a lot of practices and all the teams I scouted. So that's interesting. That they made that adjustment. Well, only three games to work with in the prelims, so every point is incredibly important as we're here at the biggest tournament of the year. Yeah, it's literally 25% more important. DMG communicating really well, and. Seattle Thunder losing their first player from the uh, snake side box there, Matty. The juice box. Oh, but then looks like body going to be coming off right now for DMG. Is that Shane? It looks like Shane. Agent yeah. Assassin. Going to even up the count. That's that's trouble. They need Shane out there to win those points. That Gerber. Gerber comes across from the back center to the juice box. That was a good fill from Gerber. Oh, Seattle drops another player. Four on three advantage here for DMG. They've got... D Gerber and Boyum over here on the snake side, locking down the 4-5 uh, gap. And they've got two over there on the uh, Drito side, the tower and the Drito three. Yeah, it was Joey Altimore taking the walk for Thunder, and then it looks like uh, Chris Cohn also taking the walk as well, too, and still now doubling up. Yeah, Thunder, so. very defensive posture, Matt. Very defensive positions, you know, looking to just lock these zones down. It, it was even for a while, but with these couple deaths for Thunder and the fact that they are still doubled up at that little mini wall, it's not looking good. They don't have any outside containment, well, and uh, they're going to need to win a gunfight here. Yeah, and that mini wall is great as long as you contain. Once you get outside and there's one of you in that mini wall, you're in trouble. If there's two of you, then you're double in trouble. Double trouble? Double trouble. Good fill back there to the tower from one of the two players in that wedge. Three on four advantage here for DMG. Slightly better field position as well. Yeah, Thunder. You can see our eye in the sky with the DMG. With a d decent crossfield spread here and some penetration. They have that body up at the wedge, another body at D3, body at D2 outside. And Seattle's definitely being more proactive here, Manny. They've made three or four moves where DMG is just still playing the same spots without making any moves. Oh, DMG might have just lost their second player. They did on the drill side, Matt, so three on three now. Yeah, that's a tough death right there. You're down a point. Of a body. You're in, you have some decent spots. You allowed Thunder to get out to spots that they shouldn't have been they able to They just lost another one, Maddie. Sorry. Two on three advantage now for Seattle Thunder. Sorry, this way, Yeah, went from a four on three to a three on two. Thunder's so tight. You know, talking to uh, people that have played against Thunder this year and have lost, like, top teams, Houston Heat, having a discussion about Seattle Thunder, and they say how disciplined they are in these moments. And they're hard to finish. And, and it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where some teams play gun, where they're looking for gunfights, and some teams are shooting gaps. And if you're looking for gunfights while that guy's shooting gaps, there's nothing more frustrating because you can't get yourself back in the game. There's no hoppers. There's no nothing. We do have a DMG player here in the snake. Yeah, I don't know if they know where right. Boyum is. He's going to have to get, he's going to catch him sleeping. 
And he does, he eats up the first body and gets all the way into the backfield here. Is Boyman gonna try to save this one though as Thunder's gonna just sprint right in and hit that buzzer. See if Boyum can get the shot in on it before he gets to it. I don't know, let's let's get sounds a look like he, here. He got shot in the leg, but it sounds like it was after he hit the buzzer. Let's see what the referee calls. Checking him out. Yep, clean. Bum, thumbs up, point is good. 2-0, man. Great job by Robbie Altimore out here to save this point for Seattle Thunder. And, it was not looking good because uh, I believe that was Jordan Boyum yeah. all the way down here trying to make it happen. So And Jordan played a really good point there. He's, he was solid on containment the whole game, and when he needed to switch to offense, he switched to offense, played really well. Had a chance there to pull off a, a three-on-one, almost pulled it off. Ironman needs to do something, and that something starts with A. Can you guess what that thing is, Matt? Alternate? Okay, okay, sure. Is it, is it alternate? Yeah, that's definitely oh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Attack? Yes, yes. Ah, the Iron Man old need to attack. Iron attack. Affix bayonets, oh, friends, man. and go forward. Establish in the middle that this is our territory. You're not welcome here. And then, you know, build from there. Infamous is probably going to go with a conservative breakout. Nope, they get outside on both sides. They go to the snake insert and the Dorito. They do lose their first attacker on the Dorito side. Four on five advantage for the Iron Man. Infamous was slightly better field position, but down by one player. Thomas Taylor retreating from the wall back into the wedge. A lot of guys go up there and try to set that trap. Kind of double utilize that position. I'm not sure if uh, Ironman know that Zach Patient is out in the snake insert bunker. It looks like they, he, they do now. They're gunfighting with him as, as we speak. So four on, oh, Infamous drops two bodies. Ironman with the first opportunity to get back in this match here. Maddie with a five on two. Yeah, you don't want to go down three as uh, Nita up into the center. Getting proactive, going back and forth. He's going to get some help. Kyle's going to move up as well, too. They get out wide I really like here on the snake side. Kyle was playing that Dorito side in practice. Yeah, Kyle was one of their big heavy hitters that helped him get that second place. And then now Treegarthen, who also was a big, uh, had some big moments for the Ironman. He's into the snake. Thomas is all by himself up there. And they're going to save Thomas some pain and concede the point. So the Ironmen are on the board. One point match here. These points are going quick though. So still 11.50 left. That should give Ironmen a little bit of a pep in their step. Did Thomas cut the Mohawk back in there? I think, I think he, he did. did. Yeah, I think it's going back. It's he, funny. I saw, I've, his line I've talked to him. He had hats on before, but I talked to him this morning and it just didn't click because I think I was looking at his mangled fingers. I mean, Thomas is just staring into his eyes and getting lost in his eyes. Is that what it was, <laughs> no, Matt? It was his big, <laughs> luscious lips. No, what I've, was it? I've mangled both my hands before. And <laughs> we so all have. We all have. see his hand the way it was, I was getting the, oh, you know, anyone that's done that, just stuff, even right now thinking about it, just reminds me of the having to throw my fingers back into place and stop Nothing the Nothing better than having those broken fingers on a cold morning and getting shot in the fingers during yeah. drills. So, he even said that. He's like, I just need to get shot in the hand one time and just get that adrenaline pump, and then I'll just, I won't feel it after that. I'm like, you're not wrong. A little bit of an aggressive breakout for DMG. They go around the corner into the Dorito 1 over there on the Dorito side, but five alive for both teams here, Maddie. DMG down by two with a little bit less than 11 minutes left here. This match is far from over, but DMG is not going to win this match by playing defensively, and that's the posture they have, Matt. They have nobody in the wedge, nobody in the tower, nobody in the center of the wing. It's just ridiculous. It's, uh... Again, do or die here for DMG every single moment that they're playing paintball this weekend as they are on the precipice of getting demoted to the semi-pro division. And it's sad because they've worked really hard and with the story with the Saints and how bad the Saints have been since the demolishment of that super team they had. And you know, people are arguing, well, it should be the Saints, it shouldn't be DMG. That's not how it works, man. It's not who it should the, be. It's not, it's never, this is paintball. It's not who it should be. It's what's actually happening it's, out here. It's why we shoot the guns at each other. So. But that's the situation. That's the reality for them, and uh, they know that. So, what's disappointing for me, though, watching DMG here is they're going out and playing a defensive point against Seattle Thunder, one of the best defensive teams out there, mm -hmm. when they're down by two points. I mean, and yes, there's a long time left, but you don't have anybody in any attacking positions. So th the longer you wait to get in those positions, the harder it's going to get, and the longer it's going to take you to transition to those next positions. They do now bump up from Madrid one to Dorito two but he's still got to get through the big gap over there on the Drill side, and we've seen teams be able to get to that 50 and not get any eliminations. Oh, and he's eliminated finally on that Drill side. So DMG taking the walk, five on four, advantage here for Seattle Thunder. DMG burning some clock time when they need to be attacking. They've got that center guy in the little lay down just pumping gaps up there. Seattle Thunder still with five bodies left alive. 
all of them in good positions. They're communicating well. They're starting to move forward now. They're starting to attack, even though they're up by two points. They should hold their discipline. And what, what does that mean, right? That they're not feeling much pressure. No pressure. Yeah, if right. you're Thunder up by two, should be content to just, oh, these guys aren't going to make any moves. You almost these gaps. have to force them out of the bunkers, yeah, right? But, they, see... but Thunder's the one being proactive yeah. here. And they have body they have body in D4. They have uh, Gomez up at the center. And here comes uh, Corey, Corey Field. He's going to come yep. over as well, too. So That's a to perfect see. size bunker for Corey. He should start there. <laughs> so good to see Corey still playing. Uh, I was taxing with him last night, wishing him some luck. But. Yeah, Thunder just making moves all over the place. Now they're going to be diving into the moves. snake. So yeah, it's 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 the way that this specific point is being played is it looks like it's two to zero in favor of DMG. Yeah, it, it, and and again, like you know, man, everything we do out here is super super hard. It's all you can hope to do is be doing the right things at the right time and hope it works out. And if you're not doing the right things at the right time, then man, you're putting yourself in a tough spot. Well, you know who just did the right thing at the right time was Scotty Graham. Yeah. Scotty Graham dove into the snake and then just carved up two bodies. And then they get a kill on uh, Dylan. Looks like Dylan Boyum. Dylan the Bruiser Boyum. I don't know if he's made any Bruiser Boyum merch yet, but merch. Really it's on the way from what I hear. Should have had a, should have had that up in somebody's uh, booth here. <laughs> Brass knuckles. <laughs> yeah, great point there for Thunder. Entire crew played well, making moves all over the place, and Scotty Graham kind of finished it off. Looks like uh, I saw Brussel back. He's about to get a spin here for Infamous, and they're going to send uh, Jonah Jamrose. We're going to see Nasty Nate, Cody. Nasty Nate Schrader out there, and Cody Minkowski, who's still kind of hobbling around a little bit on that knee. He said he's fine. He's going to play, but he's definitely not at 100% right now. So I think he's just trying to get dude. sympathy. I mean, that's what that's what the vibe I'm getting. I don't know, man. He's not really the give me sympathy <laughs> guy. So it's more of that just rub some dirt on it type. Spin on it, it'll be fine. Ironman breaking out. A little Dorito. Four in the pocket. With the wing. Infamous losing their first attacker on the snake side. It's Jamrose. Jamrose, four on five advantage here for the Ironman. Infamous releasing up the center of the field. Harrison Fry getting to that tall enough to play over that 50. That big wall structure in the center of the field. Let's see what Harrison can do up there. One of the guys I was kind of looking forward to watch play in the middle. Very creative. Looks like they, they're coming for him. And he gets him. Nita comes through, bunkers out Harrison, but off of that chaos, moved into the 50-yard line here for Los Angeles Infamous, their top of your screen. Yeah, Ironman also fill the snake corner mat at the same time. So here's Brussel back here, our D-side cam. Is Brussel back's gonna, ooh, Brussel back's playing quick here. As he gets across and guns up on the correct zone, it costs the Ironman a body trying to pinch out Brussel back by trying to get a body to that wall. Here comes another desperation run. It's Kyle launches and he's gonna catch a ton of extra bonus balls from couldn't see who that was actually giving him pumping up his back right there. Still two bodies out there left alive for the Ironman. His bodies are kind of dropping Nate. everywhere. I think it's Nate on the defense. Oh, it is. it is. Here comes Nate Schrader. Nate Schrader actually runs into that gun, and he gets taken out. So what was looking really good for Infamous for a second ends up looking really good for the Ironman. It's Infamous losing a couple bodies as we were watching Russell back making his move past that 50 because Mikowski's taking the walk. Matt, do we got a game? I, I feel think, like we got a game. I think we got ourselves a game. I feel the like Ironmen have game all of caffeine sudden. has kicked in. They've woken up. <laughs> they definitely do not know the count. Are we missing a body over here? No. Anyone, I don't think there's anyone left alive for Infamous. No. Nope. Yeah, Tree Garthen's going to sprint in, hit that buzzer, and tie this game up at two with 10 minutes and probably around two seconds left by the time that uh, Alec gets in there to hit that buzzer. So great point by Alec Bouchang and Chris Tree Garthen here. Let's get a look at. Replays how this went down. It was a bit of a chaotic point, man. I thought for a second Brusselback was going to get it done over there because look at this. You see, Nita comes through to get Fry as Brusselback dives into the 50. Ironman trying to do damage control here. They send this body up to try to get the angle in on Tim, and he takes the walk. You see the body there at D3 in front of him. And here comes Nate. This was the oh. finish. And yeah, yeah, so Alec just a great left handed gunfight there against an advancing Nate Schrader. Hits him with that, um, that first shot. We're in the pits right now. There's Travis Lemansky, the mastermind behind Pro DNA and Infamous and the whole crew, legend in his time, and still a hell of a 10 man player. Let's listen in real quick. DMG, if you're listening, please switch to offense. DMG, if you're listening, please switch to offense. Shane, get in the snake. Boyum, go through the center. Gerber, follow up through the center. Yeah, I don't think they can hear it from here, Rich. Just checking, just checking. Because again, they go to that 
kind of defensive posture. They lose Shane Howe, the Ageless Assassin, going to the little juice box there. Now they've got a guy in the wedge looking inside, a guy in the tower looking inside. Back center's playing defensively, and the snake containment is on the contain. Five on four advantage here for Thunder. They have a player up in the center of the field shooting the snake cut. So DMG Rich, they lose that first body, and okay, now they're gonna make some moves and try to get in the snake, but you know, gets chewed up trying to get in there and make more than a, a couple steps out of there. I think that was Tyler taking the walk here. And then they're gonna lose another body in the center. It's just not looking Gomez good. Getting a lucky bounce there. DMG dropping another body. Yeah, I feel like a mat, a lot of these matches are gonna come down to this. Either teams not understanding the field or a team getting a lead and just being able to control the other team. Team G might as well just concede this point. They're already down by three and they're gonna lose. No reason to get their guys pumped up. Ooh, so I almost grabbed your water there, buddy. Shh, better not drink my water. If you, guys, if you, guys, know, do you, have if you hear that again? I got fired really quickly, you'll know I actually grabbed my magic. I feel like water. every time I come to World Cup, you're sick, and then I yeah. get a room with you, yeah. and you're just coughing all over me. Because I room with a cyborg that doesn't sleep. <laughs> Two, three hours a night, he plugs in, recharges, and that's all he needs. Me, <laughs> I need, you know, a solid eight to 12 hours. <laughs> it's not easy to look this good. My immune system gets worn down eating McDonald's every day. It's just, don't, I don't want to start, okay? But if you guys are interested, just DM me. I'll give you full details. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man getting ready to break her out from the right. Infamous from the left. Iron Man completely turned around this match. First two points were all infamous. Last two points have been all Iron Man. It'll be very interesting to see who wins this pivotal fifth point in this match. A little bit less than 10 minutes. Infamous player in the back center getting a check. Looks like he's okay. Nope, he has been eliminated, so four on five advantage. Oh, Infamous drops her attacker to your side. Five on three advantage for Ironman. Thomas Taylor goes to the wing. Nick Slovak over the top of the wall, battling back and forth with Thomas in that wing. Callie jumps from the uh, back center into the little wing to watch over Thomas. Ironman attacking to the wing and the tower on the uh, Dorito side as well now. So Ironman with three attackers in the center of the field. Ironman dropping their first attacker. Thomas gets another kill across the field, so Ironman dropping two, going from a five on two to a three on two, or a three on three. Now Zach Hill jumping from the juice box back center. Ironman really throwing away this opportunity here, letting Zach Hill get into the snake. It was a five on three, now it's a three on three, and they have no idea Zach Hill is in the snake. He's gonna go forward, in my opinion. Possibly get the cross shot on Nick in the center 50. Yeah, it's nine minutes left to go here, so tense moments. Who's gonna take the initiative in this one to some Ironman players? walking towards that box, and they do not know that he's there. That 50, oh, he's just gonna go right past that spot. Might want to head check inside, could get a free kill here, focusing down that sideline. Yeah, he wants to get that kill before they figure out where he's at and release, and Al I think Al, Al knows just figured out. Al yeah. knows he's there. The longest running Ironman player, and then he finally catches him. What a great job by Al, Al Fernandez, Fernandez saves that one, because Patient was in a really good spot, and then a sea of bodies now as Thomas Taylor takes the walk, and there's Kelly Rudolph, so. That was a great play by Al and Nick. Yeah, huge moment there for, you know, Nick up the center early, and then Alfred, at, for a second, it did not look like anyone on the Ironman knew that Patient I don't think was they on did. there, so I don't think they did either, but but something happened where Al, the spidey senses yeah. started tingling. Bunk, bunker move. Bunk, or, some sort of yeah. bunker move, and I don't really think Patient hit it that much. He didn't really give too much of a tell away. Al just, with his experience, knew that, that there was some, something was tingling. wrong. You know, the way, the way that the variables were going, and he figured out where that body was. And also, it, when he went up there, he first was going up on their snake two and uh, and quickly figured out that he was in their snake one and got that kill. It's a huge and moment. That's now. why you pay Al Fernandez the big money, Matt. That's what I was telling you. 100%. And it looks like they're what just going to let this huh? one. Yeah, so, yeah. Three, sure. unan three unanswered points. It was two unanswered points for Infamous, and now three unanswered for the Ironman, making this one really interesting. If you All guys, I can say is thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And this is a great match just because all these guys have been around all these squads for so long. A lot of shared uh, commonality out there. Yeah, a lot of history. So a little bit less, a little bit more than seven minutes. Ironman up by one. They were down by two. Incredible match here. The Ironman's new squad this year. A lot of trials and travails, but looking like they have some gumption here at World Cup. There's Al Fernandez with that just beautiful heads up. Keeping that head on a swivel to get that kill. So let's get look at the replay. Here it goes. Nick Sloviak almost gets caught by Callie Rudolph, but Callie has to come over the top. Nick shot. And 
Nick Thomas. shoots Thomas. Callie gets shot trying to do damage control, and there was Al Fernandez saving it. He came up, and right before we cut to that replay, he was going up on that snake two spot, but just kept us out on a swivel and see. There's Shane Pestana, legend, legendary coach for the LA Ironman, coming back this season just to help stoic. out Nicky. Just completely stoic. We have no idea. Like, <laughs> you can't read him, you know? Big lead here for Thunder, not looking good for DMG. DMG does get out to the snake corner, and they do go to the wall. I like this changeup for them, Matt. This does give them an opportunity to attack on the snake and attack the center of the field that they had not given themselves in those th first three points. Yeah, they definitely need some sort of some sort of aggressive punch. I mean, who are we who are we worried about right now when we're playing DMG? And they have guys that like to play aggressive. Tyler Panilla is really good. You know, Shane Howell, legendary, brought his 40-year-long career. Yeah, Gerber know? likes to go through. Boyan likes to go through. But we just haven't seen any of that. No. In this first. And this is a go-through field. Good communication for both teams, both squads with five alive. DMG with advantage being outside the pocket and being up center in the wall, but Seattle Thunder being one of the best teams at locking up their lanes and really controlling the field and not giving away any sloppy kills. I hate saying things like that because as I say it, I feel like somebody's going to walk out and the back center guy for Seattle Thunder walks out. So four on five advantage here for DMG. Yeah. in that center wall wrapping the, the uh, snake side. And if you're Thunder right now with this huge lead and there's five minutes left, just even if you lose this point, who cares? Just burn, try to burn two minutes off the clock. DMG <clears> dropped <throat> two, Matty. Four on three advantage for Thunder now. At least DMG died attacking, trying to you know have some control over their match. Yeah, they, ideally, you're just trying to play the game the way it's supposed to be played, play the field the way it's supposed to be played, and if it doesn't go your way, that's fine. At least you are pushing the issue. You're so. doing what you're supposed to do. You yeah. can't control whether it works out and, or not. And we can't really knock Hill or Jordan for dying at this point in time, trying to push the issue. There's five minutes left. I mean, they're I think you know we, down by four. I think you know we will knock them, but yeah, we shouldn't for sure. Well, I'm just, it's just, what are, they, what are your other choices? Side no, the back, sure. let yeah. the time expire and lose try, the game? You can try to win or you can sit there and lose, right? So, but it just, Thunder is, They've been, they've been impressive since the second the 2002 started. Uh, I mean, they were out, out of the box really pretty solid already with the merger of the, the Brooklyn Bears and, they just got and Thunder. The Thunder Bears Usually have been Usually that doesn't happen. But, uh, but yeah, their, their starting lineup is is really solid, man. The Altimores and... But then they have like a revolving cast of... I mean, it's a pretty deep roster. So it's good. Uh, yeah, interesting too is, I mean, they keep all the Thunder guys next year. I, I don't know how things are going to go heading into 2023 for Thunder, but uh, but they've been very impressive given the situation in 2022. Obviously not winning the tournaments, not making it to finals, but, but they're beating, uh, beating really season, good teams. Any success in emergency season is a big success. I mean, they beat Heat twice. Yeah. Not when it counted, really, but yeah. Well, actually, when it did on uh, Sunday one time. Let's listen to him real quick. It's Dylan. Dylan the Bruiser Boyum. His brother, Jordan. Eddie Tomeo in there, coaching. Get ready for this next match with infamous Ironman. First two points, all infamous. Last three points. All Ironman, Ironman up by one. A little bit less than seven minutes, I, I think, left in the match. 20 seconds. 20 seconds to go. Ironman, just like Rich was saying, definitely a big momentum shift in this one. And how is Infamous going to answer? At the beginning, we were wondering what was going on with the Ironman, and then now it's kind of up to Infamous to, to figure something out here. Ironman definitely been pushing the issue. They got, looks like Kyle, Nick. They're giving Al another spin. I'm going to go with conservative breakout in the pocket. Two up the middle, one to the wing, one to the can. Infamous with five across the back, Matt. Really pocketed up. Dorito corner, four in the pocket, but no one forward in the middle, no one attacking on the snake side. So Iron Man with a little bit more aggressive breakout here, but both teams with five alive. The yeah, Iron Man in a better spot. They have the wedge and the center. We talked about how crucial those positions are. Well, oh, and this is one of those fields where if you get position, you can definitely grind out longer, slower points. You have to get to the spots where you can shoot the gaps, but when you can control those gaps from that wing and from the, the uh, laydown brick in the center, as well as those two outside spots, 
it gets it real tough to move outside. Oh, Infamous is able to do it, though. They get outside of that Drita one. He's asking for a check. He looks like he got bounce going across the gap. He released from that corner inside. It was a nice move. Got in there live. That could be crucial. Ironman dropping their first body now. Four on five advantage for Infamous as they attack on the D side. Ironman fill the Drita corner to try to stop that gap. D side. Infamous down by one. One body advantage here. Nick Sloviak filling back up into the wing. I think that's a great fill for him. That's such a, a pivotal field uh, spot on this field, Matt. I think it's probably the most crucial spot on the field. They're trading bodies back ah, and forth. Infamous drops a body over there on the D side. Yeah, I think it was Hughes uh, getting to spin in the first one to take a walk here for the Ironman. And then Nick fills that crucial spot. But the Ironman have had that 50 yard line as I believe Salcedo coming off right now for Infamous from that D side. So four on four. And here comes past the 50 now with Nita. And then Nita might have got clipped, and I don't think he shot anyone. No one coming off from that move from Nita. Actually, no. Looks like Kelly. Kelly coming off. Another body comes off as well, too. It's Cody Mikowski, but then Nasty Wait. Nate making big moves on the D side here. Might be blowing it open. I'm going to have to damage control, put a body, uh, put a point or a hey, ball on Schrader. I think Nate's the only one left, though, for Infamous, man. Yeah, I think you're I right. Think it's a two on one now. Iron Man with two, Infamous with just Matt Schrader. I mean, Nick Schrader over there in the. And yeah, Schrader but. Schrader gets caught. Nate Schrader. So Nate able to get the kill, but it's not going to matter because who saves the day against Al Fernandez, the veteran? And, then, and Nick Slovak. Yeah, right? Nick he got that, He wrapped in that key point, shot Thomas as, as... And filled when Hughes died. So, yeah, Nick's playing really well. Uh, Al's playing really well. Yeah, those guys are locking it in, center and snake for the Ironman. Back in the pits here with the Ironman. Let's listen in. Shot of Nikki and Shane Pistana there, kind of sharing that coaching duties. Uh, Ironman should be very, very honored to have Shane there in the pit with him. Very few people are uh, more passionate about the sport or know more about the sport than Shane Pistana, so it's a real honor for those guys. Good shot there of uh, Seattle Thunder, who's been playing this match like a fiddle. Just everything they're doing is working perfectly well. 5 0 so far. Looks like there might be a timeout call. Seattle singles back to the pit. Clock has stopped, only 11 seconds left on the clock. Thunder, trying to go for a mercy rule here in this first game. Be a really good way to start it off. It's infamous Thunder, Ironman and DMG in this bracket. Looks like DMG are going snake on the break. Gets in there live, I love it. They should start that off earlier in their next match. Hill up to the center here for DMG. Oh, they catch the DMG gets a penalty on the D side, so DMG with only like one player left alive now. Yeah, and DMG, uh, yeah. DMG needs to be focused, right? Yes, they just got blown out by Thunder and didn't really look like they were playing with the offensive mindset needed on this specific layout, but they have two more games to go, and because they are fighting for their professional lives out here as trying not to get relegated, Find a way to get wins in your next games. Learn from this as quickly as you possibly can, and take it, you know, the, the tournament is not over it's yet. So beautiful that you can go home, watch your match, you know, with uh, completely be objective, you know, and just be critical. Hey, what did we do well? What did we do poorly? What do the other teams do better than we did? Mm -hmm. Make those adjustments, and then come out and try to execute. It's not, you know, back in the days when we were hiding in the woods, it was it was all just conjecture. It was all just like, you know, I think this happened. This may have happened. No, no, you can see. This guy did this. This you did this. <laughs> Fix it. Just like the Ironman. They went out those first two points, got smashed, they fixed something, and now they're up by two. That's a four points, four unanswered points. Yeah, Infamous got to be shaking their heads a little bit. These are frustrating games. If you're Infamous in this situation, uh, so frustrating because things started out so well for them. And then it's just been relative, not complete disaster yet because they haven't lost the game, but it's looking really good for the LA Ironman right now. So like Zach Patience going to be attacking Snake Side, maybe Ryan Hall with him. Ironman on your screen. The good one. And now in this here, split screen breakout. Zach Hall makes snake insert. Five minutes and 13 seconds left for Rich. If the Ironman can win one more and burn two minutes off the clock, that could be it. Yep. If it's attacking on the Drew side, they go to the outside Drew to one. They've got two two attackers snake side, two in the middle with Thomas and looks like Cali. Ironman going to try to just grind this out, run this clock down as much as they possibly can. If they can keep Zach out of the snake, and keep Nate from attacking the Drio side, not get dinked out, make it very hard for Infamous to push forward and get two points in less than four minutes. The 
looking at, oh, Zach Patient. Looks like he's okay. We're just looking at his hopper. Thomas Taylor making the move up the middle for Infamous. Nobody up the middle of the field for Ironman, though. Everybody's in the back spots. They're crossed up, shooting their guns. They, they understand the field, how it's played. They understand that they're up by two points. They understand that there's four minutes and 18 seconds left. Oh, and Nick, uh, who is that, Nikolai? No, Nikolai it's, it's flinches Kyle. first. Kyle flinches first, gets shot. Not even shooting his gun, just kind of sloppily looking inside. Yeah, it's a great kill here for LA Infamous as Keyes is going to fill that spot and goes through into the same lane. Great Stays fill, alive. great fill. Ironman now filling the snake. If he can get in there and stay alive, oh, he got shot. That was a terrible move. Well, Thomas Taylor's coming off as well as uh, Tregarthen. Chris Tregarthen. Yeah. Chris needed to just stay alive in that corner, understanding that he was up by two points there. Sorry, Chris, for being critical, but man, it's, uh, stay alive in that corner. You can almost guarantee yourself a, a win in this match. Looks like Infamous wants to get into yeah. the snake, and then there goes Patient. Patient's going to dive in. He's going to get some help. His ball's going to get right behind him. Patient hits the deck, crawls all the way to the 50. He's going to keep going. No one's stopping Zach, and there's no one outside wide, and there's no one in the snake, so he's going to be able to come down and get Nick to two. get a, sh a shot in inside. Yep. And, and Al Fernandez is taking the walk right before that happens, so that's it. If this is going to be down by one with a little bit more than three minutes left. Now the, now the emphasis is back on the Ironman to come back out, adjust what little mistakes that they made in the point that they didn't win compared to the last four points that they had won and try to come out and win that last crucial point of this match. Yeah, it's getting really interesting. We'll be in X-Ball right now as it's just a one-point lead here for the Ironman. Going to have to do some cleanup. Let's listen in real quick, Coach Nikki. Are you on the field? I am. Okay. Can someone wipe me down? Here, take this pack. Take that pack right off. Keith DeWitt being a good team player there, supporting the other guys that are in the line. Al, I'm here with your gun. Al, I'm here with your gun. You and I were yeah, it's Alex Keys, and looks like they're gonna send Alec back out. Don't know if they're gonna send Keys back out. Probably gonna send Chris back out. Chris Tregarthen. <clears throat> yeah, my guess is that same five will probably go out back out. I would think so. I mean, you know, with uh, Nikki McEvers and her ability to, to put this team together, bringing those Hurricane guys in, it was huge for them. And then, and then the Ironman bringing Shane back to help out Nikki. Give him that, that emotional support and those insights that Shane has gained from being in the game for about 35 years now and being a leader of that team through different incarnations of some um, championships. Yeah, he's Good 42 mix. years old, bro. He's not been playing since he was seven. That's You're being ridiculous right now. I'm sorry, Shane, that he said that about you. <laughs> I apologize for both of us. He's been drinking heavily this morning, as usual. That's a lie. You haven't been drinking this morning. I have not. I've been drinking water heavily and coffee. Oh, oh, it's, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. Guys, he's been drinking water and coffee. <laughs> right now, four to three. Wait, who you got? Who you got? I think, I don't know, this is a tough one. Infamous ties it. Thir thir three twelve left. Oh. Both teams living through the break here. Looks like a five on five break, at least to start things out as the Ironman take a little bit more ground up that center of the field as they send Nita to that wedge. Yeah, this is gonna be tough for Infamous. As they drop a body, Matty. Four on five advantage for the Ironman. Iron Man in a better field position with that wedge on the snake side, Matty. Oh, it's Jonah Jamrose. Had a really nice one <clears throat> earlier. He's taking the walk. It's yeah. It's one of those snakes where, man, when you sneak in there, it's, you can definitely capitalize. Iron Man releasing with one player up the center of the field as infamous attacks with it looks like Harrison Fry on the Drito side going from the Drito corner to Drito one. He switched Thomas to uh, look inside Drito side order. Watch over him. Nick Sloviak goes from the back center to the tower on the Drito side. Three Ironmen in the back line. Two up front, one in the middle, one attacking Dorito. 220 left. Infamous down by one. Infamous again, kind of in defensive postures here, Maddie, right? Not looking to so much attack the field as zone well, at the center of the field looks like. They lost Jonah and, oh, and they now, just they're lost Harrison. now they're gonna lose another body as well, too. It's gonna be just three bodies left alive for Infamous here and still down by one. Two minutes left to go, and then Ryan Hall's gonna launch. He's gonna get to the wedge, looking for where find out where Trent is. It's, it's for me it's always so weird though, Maddie, when you see a couple of your guys walk off and then you see a, a guy Trent. switch the offense because you're like, bro, if you'd have just done that when we had bodies, it would have been much better for us. 
Al Fernandez with an amazing fill out to the snake corner. Gets out there alive and completely controls the center of the field. Oh, Callie Rudolph getting shot out of back center there, it looks like, Maddie. Looks like Ironman are going to win this match. Or they're yeah. definitely going to win this point, it looks like. The Ironman are definitely oh. looking like they're going to win this point. They force a concession. There were still two bodies left alive. There was a slight bit of chaos. And we see some yellow flags, just kind of a late Pepper penalty call here. Not sure if that was on the Ironman or Infamous. I mean, it, those, those flags went up. I'd say about three seconds after the concession. Oh, penalty. Like Ironman starting down one, Matty. Ironman had bodies to pull, though. And I mean, it looked like they had two alive, and I saw a yellow flag. So we're getting. Maybe it was, inf you maybe it was infamous. In. I thought I heard Ironman, though, right? Yeah, I did. I heard the same thing, so I don't know. We're just, we're just going, giving you guys information. We're kind of overhearing as the referee talks to the, the uh, commish. Well, the point does go to the Ironman. It gives them that two-point spread. There's not a lot of time left. So Infamous is going to be forced into a reckless attack moment. And be forced to send it. They're going to send Kyle back out. Looks like they're going to send Al back out. And Alec. Haven't seen Keith DeVitt much here in this one. I think Keith is on the offensive points, and, and now that they've, they're they kind of trying to slow it down a little bit, I think they're sitting, and that's that's just my guess. I could be way off. He did a good job of getting to the wall, jumping over the top, and getting a kill early in a lot of the uh, practices games I watched mm -hmm. there. I'm going to send Nick Sloviak back out. Happy birthday, Nick Sloviak. Happy birthday, Nick. Dinner at our usual spot. Big moment here for the Ironmen, as they've been trying to do. Yeah, so trying to, now taking that second place in Sacramento was, was massive for them, as it really helped their standing and not really having to worry about getting relegated down to that semi-pro division, which would have been an absolute disaster for the longest running pro team in existence. Um, and, now up by two points against Infamous in their first game here. As Infamous is the number one seed in this bracket. And we know the Ironmen can beat top teams with this new roster because, well, they did it on Sunday to make it into the finals. Well, what a big advantage for here at World Cup, right? Beat, if, if they can beat their top seed. Yeah, that would be. That gives you a lot of, lot of momentum going forward into those next two matches. Gives you a, a much better opportunity to get forward to Sunday than most teams will have. You can beat if you can win the games you're not supposed to win, and just win the games you're expected to win. You're doing pretty well. Five on four, infamous four. Sounds four. like five on four, infamous starting with four. Okay, so it was infamous then. So what happens there if uh, you, the last player on the field gets a penalty, and there's not a, pa a player to pull on that penalty, the team will start the next match down one body with four bodies, or as many bodies as were supposed to be pulled. So I might have a replay here of where that penalty came from. So here come the Ironman, there goes Nate, launches, and bam, there it is right there. Yeah, and takes One. a couple steps. Yeah, two steps will get you. Oh, that's, that'll do it. That is gonna force Infamous into a really tough spot. So Ironman on, yeah, Ironman on a power play, down by two points, and there's just a minute and 35 seconds left. All the cards are lining up here for the Ironman to take this win and see if they can finish it off. Thomas Taylor's gonna run through the center. A body does come off. It does look like Patient takes a walk early. For Infamous, they're gonna lose Cali. Yeah, it's not looking good here, and that should do it. It's gonna force a very quick concession, and now a three-point spread here. Wow, what a crazy game, man. Infamous goes up, if you just joined us, Infamous goes up two to zero. Then the Ironmen put up four unanswered. Infamous answers again to make it a one-point match. And then a penalty turned it into a power play for the Ironmen. And now here we are with a three-point spread. Thank you, paintball gods. If the weekend continues like this, I will be able to stay awake. <laughs> hey, there's Pop Patrol in the stands. Haven't seen him forever. Yeah, Thomas has his whole family here. A little stack in my head there. So, question right now, Infamous, down by three. You also don't want to let that yeah, spread I don't get I think carried away. Just, I think you just take your three-point loss, right? Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's a tough situation because 
with the, if if you're the top seed, you're gonna lose <clears throat> to this to the third seed here. And if if they start running into guns, I mean, conceivably they could lose two more points doing that, and then it end up being a five point spread, which would be real bad for infamous because now they have to come out and uh, and put up a five point spread on somebody else, either Thunder or DMG. Thunder just mercy rolled DMG, so yeah, it's just. Uh, that's something that Travis has to consider right that's, now. That's just to break even, right? Yeah. Then that's yeah, just to get back to that even point spread. It's just to get just to get out of the basement. But DMG did struggle that match. Yeah, I think Infamous probably just plans on not losing this point. I think Ironman probably were thinking the same thing. Although I'd love to see the Ironman switch it up and go flying V and go right through the middle and just crash through and get, try to get two more points in a minute. Well, the one thing. That but we maybe do know that scared. does work. Maybe she ain't scared. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, aggression against aggression does work in moments like this, right? Just taking all the back spots or tripling up the back center. Some, a lot of times, that's not the way to do no. a moment like this when you're trying to hold off an attack for just a couple minutes. Yeah, you want to go punch him in the teeth. Oh, well, Ironman tried to take a little bit of ground with Keith, and he gets shot out off the break. They're also going to lose Alec. Yeah, four, three on three, as the. Uh, Infamous loses their first attacker, Drio side. Hall comes through and he gets diced up, trying to make something happen. Yeah, two on three advantage Iron Man now. Iron Man should switch gears to offense and start going forward and try to win this point. I mean, Infamous, they might be able to get this one if they can, oh, say, they still have to kill Al. Al's having a game. <laughs> Al Fernandez is having a game right now. Yeah, Nick was still alive too. Yeah, Al and Nick both played really well here in this one. So Funny, the old guy still got it. Yeah, and I highly doubt that they're going to concede this point because now they're going to take a four point loss and they don't want to have to do this again and then again like i said take that five point loss so yeah, if i was nick though i would just hit that button yeah that's a, so, yeah, so we have the option you know like we can now decide whether we want to go up and play a slow point or try to practice our 15 second or 20 second point yeah so he does good yeah pumped up here thanks kp It's got to feel good, you know, going out to that first match at World Cup, being down by two points and getting that sick feeling in your stomach. Like, we might we, we might not be able to win World Cup as of, like, this match right now. Like, we might be losing World Cup right now mm -hmm. and then go back and score five more points after that. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, Ironman got to be feeling pretty good. Going down early, coming back, taking all the momentum, and putting up a pretty big score here. So this is a b decent margin for yeah, the Ironman. If, if you were a betting guy, you probably would have lost some money on this match because even if you had Infamous losing, you probably wouldn't have it by a four-point margin. Yeah. So, again, we're in uh, not that match, regular X-ball. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, yeah, but so again, Thunder in this set took down DMG a while ago. And coming up next, though, we have Lucky 15s taking on Rebo. So Lucky 15s already beat Legion. And now Legion's gonna have to try to redeem themselves uh, against Energy Elite. Energy Elite only able to put up one point. Revo just controlled that entire match, pretty much. So we'll see is uh, Revo playing the, the field, uh, the be some of the best we've seen out here so far today. Full control. So again, just getting things kicked off here, first day of World Cup. And thank you guys so much for joining us. And again, uh, work with us on some technical difficulties here as uh, Hurricane, we had all hands on deck trying to deal with that. And a big shout out to the NXL who batting down the hatches and all the people at all the different companies. Everyone was trying all to do everything they could to get, just survive and yep. make it through. Team effort. So we could have a we could have a tournament. So 20 seconds to go. Yeah, if we have any hiccups this weekend, we apologize. We literally every built everything, took everything back down, built everything again, took everything back down again, and built everything again. Great job, Rich. <laughs> I'm going to break it off from the right. If miss from the left. If miss actually going around the uh, corner trying to attack Trio side, but they lose two on the break, Maddie. So four on three advantage here for the Ironman. A little bit more than a minute left. Ironman with an opportunity. They can win another point here if they want, Matt. <laughs> and Infamous probably in their pits. Do not lose another point. Yeah, whatever you do. Why? We cannot take a five-point loss. Nick Slovak flying down the Trio side of the field. Uh, Nick, Nick trying to take a huge bite over there at the very closing moments of the match. And Ironman taking a real solid big win here over Infamous. 
Awesome job by the LA Ironman and Seattle Thunder also here in this set. But stick with us. It's going to be Baltimore Revo taking on the Lucky 15s. And then Legion taking on Energy. We're here at the 2020 NXL World Cup, the Champions Cup, brought to you by Boker Kings. I'm Matty Marshall here with Rich Telford on Go Sports. control it's tight. 